There are various accessories for the Raspberry Pi. First let's talk about the necessities. A power adapter. The purpose is quite self-explanatory. What you want to buy is a micro USB wall adapter which outputs 5 volts with a minimum of 700 milliamperes. 1 ampere is recommended however. You also need a way of connecting the device to a screen. If you have a TV which you bought in the last 4 years then you should have a HDMI port and therefore can hook a HDMI cable up. If you have an old TV, then you require a composite cable. HDMI outputs both image onto the screen, but also sound. If you have an old TV, then you need a composite cable and a 3.5mm to stereo cable. So basically, if you have an old TV, the yellow composite cable will display video and the red and white will send the sound. If you want to hook up standard speakers, you also connect it to the, uh, the 3.5mm slot. If the monitor you have does not support any of the outputs, such as DVI, then there are adapters which are available. An SD card is also required as it contains all the files for the device to run. If you have a micro SD card, then it should have an SD adapter. The higher the class of the SD card, the faster the device will be overall. It's also a good idea to connect a standard USB keyboard and mouse to the device. You may also want to connect to the internet. You can either directly connect it to a router using an Ethernet cable or connect a wireless adapter. If you're using a wireless adapter, make sure to check the link in the description to see if your adapter is compatible. Now let's discuss the other components which you can consider. If you're like me and have a USB mouse, keyboard, Wi-Fi adapter and flash drive, then you cannot connect it all to the Raspberry Pi. The first reason being the board has only two USB slots and the next being the fact that the Pi doesn't have the power to run so many devices. In this situation, you want to use a powered USB hub. Uh, so some people decide to attach heat sinks to the Raspberry Pi, which allows the main chip to run cool. If you're into overclocking, then this is a good idea, but it's not required for standard users. You may wish to connect an external hard drive in case you need more storage. If you plan to use the GPIO pins, then take a look at Adafruit's site for some cool gadgets. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more awesome videos.